this is the order of execution of Salesforce. Um, it is clearly depicted here. Uh, in a nutshell, there are 12 steps, uh, no extra details here. The very first one is what happens when you update a record is um, it, uh, triggers before trigger uh, methods. The second one is validation rules. Third one, duplicate rules. Fourth one, after triggers. Fifth one, assignment rules. Six one, auto response tool rules. Seventh one, workflow rules. Eighth one, escalation rules. Ninth one, process and invoke flows. Seventh one, entitlement rules. Eleven one, update parent roll up summary. Eleven um, one, save records. The, on the right side is mnemonics. Mnemonics um, just for the sake of memorizing is the um, so just pay attention to this diagram it is the execute order of execution um, of Salesforce if you want to see more details uh, go to Salesforce site here uh, triggers an order of the execution first Load the original from the database. Second one loads the new records. Um, fourth one execute record triggered flaws. Fourth, uh, fourth one execute before triggers. Run most of the system validation rules. Sixth one execute duplicate, duplicate rules. Seventh one save record to the database but doesn't commit it. Very important. It's it has a save point, it doesn't commit it. And then 8 one execute after triggers, 9th one execute uh, assignment rules, 10th one execute auto response rules, 11th one execute workflow rules, 12th one execute escalation rule, number 13 execute the following Salesforce flow automations, but not in the guaranteed order. Yeah, they get triggered. Processes, flaws, workflow rules, but there's no guarantee of the flow. Fourteen execute record, record triggered flaws. Fifth one entitlement rules. Number sixteen roll up summary fails across cross-object workflows. Seventh, if parent record is updated, all the grandparent record roll up summary field as a part of the cross-object workflow performs calculation and update roll up summary fails. Number 18, execute criteria based sharing rules. Number 19, commit DML operation to the database. So we commit at this point, DML operation to database. After that, uh, number 20, um, all other uh, things which occur after saving to the database, for example, sending email, enqueued asynchronous Apex job, including queuable job and future methods, asynchronous password records. Hope you enjoyed.